y'all, my name is Oriafe. I am a first. I'm a second year medical student who makes content about med school and being a pre-med, so subscribe if you're interested. I asked 21 medical students, what's one random piece of advice you would give to someone starting med school? And this is what they said. If there's one thing I had to suggest for a first year medical student, I'd definitely say time management. Just one of the things you realize in medical school is just, there's just so many things you need to do, so many things you need to study for. It all can really start to add up. So definitely just getting ahead of yourself, setting aside time to study each day when you can, and remembering don't overpace yourself. In the beginning, you know, it's exciting to get into med school. You want to do your best. You know, we all want to get those A's, but it's important to pace yourself because med school is really more of a marathon than a sprint. You don't want to get yourself just over exhausted in the beginning, and then for the rest of the year, now you're just burnt out. Definitely pace yourself, get a good schedule in mind, and just have something you can consistently stick with. Now that's the secret to success. One piece of advice I would give to anyone entering medical school is to set designated study times. And by that, I mean set a time period where you're going to sit down and only study and be as productive as possible during that study time. So you're not on your phone, you're not on YouTube, you're not doing anything but studying. And when you do that, it actually helps you manage your free time because you can do whatever you want outside of those study periods. You can go wherever you want with your friends, you can do whatever hobby you want to do literally anything and it helps somewhat keep you caught up you're not always going to be caught up but those time periods help get you caught up so by the time the test comes you're not burnt out you're not overly stressed and you feel like you might be ready for the exam i am one my name is Kim. i am just finishing m1 now the biggest recommendation i will give is to be yourself and as soon as possible know how you learn best because that's going to help you in the long run if you're someone that loves to use Anki, great, use Anki. If you're someone that loves to write, draw, whichever way you learn best, figure that out. You know your study strategy because that's going to come in hand when you get into SF1, SF2, SF3. And in the meantime, please have fun. Medical school is torture. <laughs> it is a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. But in the meantime, have fun because time waits for no one. My advice for people starting medical school is to relax for now. I know you're worried about a lot of stuff, but for now, just relax. And two weeks before medical school starts, you should just accept that you're gonna make a lot of sacrifices because it's gonna be like nothing you've seen before, but then you're gonna be doing it with other people, so you'll be fine. And another advice I'll give is that in the first month, just form your schedule, see what works, and be very adaptable, you should be good. What's up M1s? My name is Steven Spencer. I'm a, an M2 at Howard University College of Medicine. And if I could give you one piece of advice while you're about to start your uh, medical school journey, it'd be to, you know, to not neglect the parts of you that aren't a medical student. You know, you've done so much work to get to this point, but don't forget you are so much more than a medical student. Don't neglect your friends, your family, your hobbies, all those different parts of you that, that make you you. And, uh, yeah, just have fun. Have fun with it. It's a lot of hard work. It's going to be really tough at times, but you know, if you stay true to yourself and stay true to those parts of you that do make you you, it's going to make the whole journey so much more fun, so much more fulfilling and, and way less stressful. And make as many friends as you can and there's no shortage of those at Howard. Hey, my name is Nick. I just finished my M1 year and my advice to someone who's starting medical school is to really try your best. Don't hold anything back. Don't hold anything in reserve. Uh, really go for it. And I think a big part of it is also that open-mindedness to let yourself grow as a student and willingness to get new study habits, uh, better time management, etc. Because anything you've done outside of medical school, you'll use similar tools, strategies, uh, but definitely not the same. Medical school is, is different. It's just different. And so that means that your approach, uh, that's going to be different sometimes too. So I think a piece of advice that I would give is two things, is to make sure that one, you really want to do this because medical school is definitely no joke. And two, I would say to make sure that you have a strong support system back home because you come here, a lot of times you're not from the state and you don't feel like you have many people here, but if you have that strong support system at home, then you'll be good. Congratulations and congratulations. So my biggest advice to you is to make sure you stay on top of the material, do a little bit of studying every day. If you need help, ask for advice. Don't wait until the last minute. Just overall do your best. My advice to anyone starting med school is definitely go to a conference. 
I didn't go to any conferences before I started med school and I so wish I had. It's such a great way to meet people, to make connections, to gain mentors in the space, and really just overall a great opportunity to learn from people who are really experienced in the medical field. There are general conferences like AMEC or there are more specialty specific conferences. So whatever you're interested in, or if you just wanna get some exposure, try to find a conference. And they can be a lot of fun too, if it's in like a location that's different from where your med school is, but definitely go to a conference. It was one of the best decisions I made this year. And as a first year med student, you don't have the pressure of trying to find a residency program. So you can really just take that time to learn and gain what you can from the conference experience. So I would highly recommend putting that on your agenda for first year. Hi, I'm Serene and my advice would be that at the very beginning of med school, make sure you try lots of different study methods and like maybe spend like a week trying a different method every time until you figure out what you know best. So that's it. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Eunice and I'm going to be sharing with you my random piece of advice and I'm actually extra so I'm going to share too. So my first one is for you to believe in yourself. I can't stress this enough. It is very important for you to know that you're your greatest supporter, advocate and cheerleader and you have to do everything within your part to maintain that belief in you, to take care of you. And when I mean take care of you, I mean to discover who you are, what do you love, what do you not love, what are your strengths, your potential, what are your limitations, how do you go about overcoming those limitations. Honestly, the journey to self-discovery, it is tough and it is long. And that is why it is also important for us to surround ourselves with people who would instill inside of us confidence to keep going, to keep pushing. And that leads me to my second point, which is to reach out, guys. There are a lot of people who are willing to help you and all you have to do is send that Instagram. Instagram DM, message them on LinkedIn, email them if you connect to their stories or their experiences. All you need to do is reach out. So yeah, guys, those are my tips and I hope they help you. One piece of advice that I would give to someone who is starting medical school is to not just remember your why, but remember the mission, what it is that you have come to accomplish. And remember that the mission started out in your heart. And remember that you should not be surprised by the mission. So don't be surprised by how difficult the work is, how much work you have to put in, how much studying you have to do, how many hoops and hurdles that you're going to have to navigate emotionally, spiritually, physically. So if you can remove the surprise factor as much as possible through knowing the ins and outs of the actual course, knowing the breadth of the material that you're going to have to cover, previewing lectures, meeting with your professors regularly, and just knowing the coursework inside out, knowing the nature of the beast, getting familiar with the beast, removing the surprise factor, you will be one step closer to uh, being successful in your accomplishing of the mission. Hey future doctors, you already know who I am, but one piece of advice I would give to somebody who's starting M1 would be to not be afraid to delete social media and to not be afraid to cut out distractions in general. If there is something in your life that is getting in the way of you being as successful as you want to be, for me that was Netflix, Instagram, TikTok. If it's something that you could easily get rid of and it isn't really adding to your life just get rid of it for the time being i feel like once i implemented this my productivity basically skyrocketed <laughs> because you don't really understand how much time you're spending doing things that you don't need to be spending time on and when you're a medical student time is really limited so you really have to spend it wisely and i honestly feel like this is just one way of being disciplined i feel like discipline Discipline is one of the biggest lessons I learned throughout my M1 year. So if you can learn it earlier on, it'll be better for you. Good luck. Hi, my name is Ugonna Wanganu and I'm a rising M2 at Howard University College of Medicine. A piece of advice that I would give to anybody starting medical school is to let go of whatever preconceived notions you have for what makes a good student. I think that coming into medical school, a lot of pre-med students have this idea that you must attend all your classes and you must study a certain way and you must do a certain amount of reading and taking notes and all of that. You're going to find that managing your time may mean compromising on some of those preconceived notions that you have before and that's okay because you're going to become a more efficient student. You're going to become a more efficient studier and that is a lot of what first year is about is just figuring out the most effective and efficient way of preparing for 
the material according to the way that you learn. So I'll definitely say that as well as sticking to what's tried and true. You're going to be exposed to so many different resources and everyone's going to have so much advice for how you can utilize them. And you're going to be overwhelmed if you try to dip your hand in every pot. So I would also advise someone to stick to what works for you and carry that like throughout the rest of your journey. Thank you. Some advice I'd give the students entering medical school is make sure to take some time to yourself. Medical school is a lot and it can be very overwhelming. You may feel like you have no time to do anything but study, but it's very important that you take at least one to two hours every week to do something that you enjoy doing. Whether it's taking a walk, reading a book, watching a movie, or just hanging out with friends, do something that makes you happy. That's a great way to de-stress and reset to get right back to that studying mode. And it's also a great way to reward yourself for all the hard work that you've been doing throughout the week. So some advice I would give to incoming medical students would be to first find your support system. No matter who it is, where they are, you're going to need them. It's always good to surround yourself with people who love you and care about you, especially when times get hard in medical school. The second thing I would do is recommend finding a schedule and 100% sticking with it. Hi y'all, my name is Taya. I'm a rising M2 at Howard University's College of Medicine. So my number one piece of advice would definitely to be learn how to discipline yourself. Um, motivation is cool, I guess, but in order to get up out of bed on those days where you really feel like doing nothing, you need to have the discipline in order to say, hey, I'm going to do what I said I needed to do today. And yeah, so good luck in medical school. So one of the main pieces of advice I would give going into medical school is to try and find your people as soon as possible. It's really important to have a strong support group because life still goes on even when you're in medical school and you need to have people that you can confide in. Um, it's also good for when you need a study group as well and I would say that find that with at least one person and that will be good enough. So that's my main piece of advice. What are some tips that I would give someone starting medical school? I think the main one would be to be adaptable. So you may have had your own routine, your own way of doing things, your own way of studying. But uh, when you get to medical school, you have to be able to change. Each topic is going to be a little different. Each professor is going to be a little different. Even the way you think about things conceptually might change as you go on. So I think the biggest thing is being adaptable. Life's going to throw some crazy stuff at you school's gonna throw some crazy stuff at you but in the end when you want to be a doctor it's all worth it my advice to pre-med slash incoming med students is to be kind to yourself in this journey because you can do everything you're supposed to work really hard study for hours on key practice questions and your grades might not reflect that so it's just it's a marathon and what you do good in you do good in other things just honestly keep it pushing i think one advice i would give to income medical students is to enjoy as much of your time as possible before medical school if you're in a position go on trips go on trips you know, spend that time with family um invest more in yourself but like really try to relax your mind and avoid any stress academic work if you can because you have the time to that much time school hey y'all it's me again i just watched all the footage i received and i noticed that nobody had spoken on what i'm about to talk about directly they've kind of alluded to it but i felt like it was really important to include in this video and since i'm the one making it i get to talk multiple times <laughs> but another tip i have to give is that you should never neglect your health and i feel like this is really ironic since we all want to work in healthcare and we're going into a profession where we're going to try to help people reach their optimum health levels but when you're spending so much time focusing on studying you need to remember to not only take care of yourself by giving yourself mental breaks and by doing things that you enjoy but also physically making sure that you're getting the nutrients you need making sure that you're exercising every now and then and trying to be the role model that you want your patients to have you don't need to be the healthiest person on the planet but just trying to make sure that you can function and not neglect that aspect of yourself is very important because if you're not eating if you're not sleeping you're not going to have the energy to do what it takes to be a successful medical student and one thing that i always say is that if you don't have your health you have nothing as you're trying to help people be the healthier versions of themselves you should also push for that for yourself
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope it added to your life in one way or another. And I also want to thank my 20 classmates who gave advice and helped make this video a success. Thank you so much for taking your time to help out and making yourself vulnerable. Comment which tips were your favorite. And if you're a medical student, you can comment which one you resonate with the most. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Adios.